All right, welcome back. This is tutorial number two on email flows with Standstore. My original one did have a lot of questions and just people wondering exactly how it was working as far as the analytics behind it. And so I wanted to jump back on here and just show you exactly what I've built. So when it comes to the flows, you have the ability to add individual flows. And if you are curious about that, I would hop back to my last video as I did show exactly how to create a flow, what that looks looks like. But one amazing thing that I found when utilizing this stand store plan is the fact that the analytics behind it are unreal. So I have sent 98 emails, the delivery rate is 99%, and the open rate, it is 66%. So I have tried System.io, um, we had a few people open it, um, but nowhere near 66%. Um, the analytics behind the Flowdesk, although I did love the appeal of Flowdesk, um, it really wasn't working for me as far as getting people to open it. I don't know if it's because it came across more as an image um, and stand stores come across a little bit differently. Um, so as you can see, you put in information. It is more of a written text and that may be what is causing people to be able to actually see it rather than it going to spam or junk. Um, so this is something huge being able to have 75%, 60% you know, of, of sending those things. And I've been slowly adding different people or different things to each one of these, but seeing the analytics behind it really overall is going to sell you as far as email flows, proving that Stansor does have the ability for your customers to have the initial email, but then also get getting follow emails um, to start that email marketing trail. If they grab your freebie, you want to have the ability to reach back out with them through email and try to see if they are interested in something further. So initially I have my Amazon affiliate blueprint that people can grab for free in my stand store. Once I have that, it automatically triggers them. And it does say in here, just to kind of remember delay is three days. So if let's say you wanted to set something up where after they purchase your Amazon masterclass, you want to have information as far as, you know, how did you like it? And then another one about your reviews. Pretty soon I'm going to be adding an additional course on there about increasing your Amazon influencer presence. And then that would then be another email that I would add to this trail. It is also super easy to pull people from different areas, giving them each tags. Um, and I can kind of explain that when you look at the audience section, um, there's going to be something where you can right click on add a tag. I'm not going to pull that up just because they do have their emails on there. Um, however, once you look at your audience section, there's a way to tag them into different things that they have purchased. Um, and then it ultimately will end up adding a few different features um, as, such as this. So opens, what's great about this? Thank you for your purchase. Obviously that should that should be the 100% on there. Everyone's going to want to open something that they've purchased. Um, there wasn't too many opportunities for it to click on here as far as that, but 74.3%. I sent something to everyone. It's a broadcast. So that meant I sent it to all of my customers. I wanted them to say, you know, your satisfaction means the world to me. I would like reviews in that case. And then they were able to send those back to me. Uh, but 35 cents, 74 74.3% 74 open. Um, that is, that's huge um, to be able to have that. Um, so that's another thing that I highly suggest when it comes to these. Um, I mentioned that I had tried System.io. Um, I find it pretty hard um, to get in there and create each one. It's not as user friendly as Stan. Um, so this was probably my harder platform um, to understand and grasp. And it just, as you can see, it wasn't working. Um, so same thing with the emails over here. They were absolutely beautiful emails, but people weren't opening them. People weren't able to get them depending on how their spam was set up. Um, so although I absolutely loved the Flowdesk platform, um, if they can't see the emails, it doesn't matter if they look pretty, I suppose. Um, so overall, I mean, I love Flowdesk, um, but Standstore, the one shining tidbit if you if let's say this rest of the stuff didn't sell you the one thing that could sell you in this case is the fact that it's a one-stop shop 
So if I were to do Flowdesk, what I needed to do is I needed to have my stand store on the $30 plan, and then I needed to purchase a connector for my stand store to automatically flow into Flowdesk into my audience section. If you didn't have that, and I originally didn't when I was testing everything out, I had to manually go to my audience section and add everyone into my Flowdesk, and that was a huge turnoff for me. There is a connector, but by the time you purchase stand store 30 day plan flow desk and then also have the connector you might as well at that point have a one-stop shop of stand store with the better analytics and that's kind of where i landed in this case so the one piece of this is the fact that it's all in one they purchase from your stand store they become your audience and it's already in your email flows there's no connector there's nothing that needs to be connected because it's a one-stop shop so what I'm trying to say as far as the email flows, um, now that I've tried System.io, after I've tried Flowdesk, um, I can happily report back from Stan that it is by far the easiest to use when it comes down to the flows section, how to add flows, how to create flows, how to add emails. So one thing that I've done is I initially just had um, the main email that goes out um, and I just recently added your satisfaction means everything to me that way I didn't have to do the broadcast again so that's a something staple that I have in here as well my Amazon freebie is a little bit longer um, these were some of the sample ones so these are just drafts um, but I do have all of these things that will end up getting sent out in that case um, so that is huge being able to have those and it's super easy they give you templates um, and the templates I show in the previous um, email flows YouTube video that I did so you will want to make sure to check that out if you have any further questions um, but otherwise overall that's the main thing I want to share I did want to make sure that you did if you've wanted to try stand store and you wanted to try it out I do have a 14 day free trial link that I will put below that will get you access to stand Store for 14 days you have the ability to check it out see what you like about it if you are using system IO if you are using flow disk if you are using something else and you wanted to compare that 14 day free trial gives you an opportunity to do that. And like I said, I will link that below. I will put that in the description. Also, any questions or any other things that you want me to cover on Standstore, make sure to put them in the comments. I will be browsing through here quite a bit the next few days and wanting to make sure that I respond and making sure I'm able to give you exactly what you're looking for. But overall, as somebody that has been through System.io first, then I went to Flowdesk and then retreated back to Standstore, I am happy to say that I will not be moving. Um, this is one of the platforms that I highly suggest and always want to make sure that I suggest to people. Um, and I know even after the 14 day free trial, you will love it. I was initially kind of sold on that. 14-day free trial. I'm like, why not give it a try? Um, in that case, I tried it and I have not looked back since. So like I said, I do had, I had for a while the $30 plan upgraded to the $99 plan and I am super happy with everything that has been going this way, especially with those email flows. You cannot mess with those analytics. That is absolutely amazing um, to be able to have that um, and so I highly suggest giving Stan a try using those email flows. But like I said, if you haven't used it yet, make sure to check it out, that 14-day free trial in the links, and make sure if there's any questions, let me know.